Hi everyone, welcome to AI Crack Channel. This is Akash Kumar, and today we'll be discussing PG debate 2023 expected cutoff, and that is actually the hottest topic as of now. Now, what I'll be doing, I'll be doing a competitive analysis between 22 and 23, and also giving certain practical data points based on my experience. So let's take a recap from 22. What we actually did over there, we had polls from both 21 and 22, and uh, we had participants, participant numbers from both 21 and 22. And we actually made a competitive analysis between both the polls and found out that more or less cutoff is likely to stay in the same range. So that's what we concluded uh, back in 22. Now let's do a similar kind of analysis in case of 22 and 23. Right? But the problem over here is we have actually we had actually 290 votes in 22 and we have 250 votes. So there is a shortfall of 40 votes. So to ensure that this shortfall is not going to create any kind of problem in our analysis, what I did I took snapshots at different intervals. So I took one snapshot when votes vote count was 130, 160, 190, 210, and so on. I took multiple snapshots and found out that this uh, percentage or this proportion is likely to stay stay the same over the course of time, right? When as the vote count vote counts increases. So even if even if this is going to 300, then also this stays more or less the same. So basically, we can extrapolate, right? So this 40 shortfall of 40 is not going to create any problem for us. So that I've ensured. Now, uh, if I take the similar kind of pathway over here, I actually took less than hundred in the previous one. I actually considered less than hundred as the first point. But if I take less than hundred over here, I'll be getting seventy-eight percent. So that is huge. So I cannot take, I cannot compare seventy-eight percent and sixty percent, right? So I need certain certain points where I can do one-to-one -one comparison. So basically, I found out that if I reduce the number by ten, so basically, if I had ninety percent, ninety marks over here, if I do eighty marks over here. If I had 100, if I do 90, if I had 110, if I do 100 over here, I can see similar kind of proportions now. So basically, less than 80, 43%, less than 90, 43%, less than 90, 61%, less than uh, 100, 60%, greater than 110, 22%, greater than 100, 23%. So basically, with a drop of 10 marks, I can see similar kind of proportions. So I can safely assume that cutoff is likely to drop by 10, 10 marks, approximately in case of ideal conditions. Now one caveat over here. In a previous case, in last year case, what we had, we had an increase of participants. That's why we didn't consider this improvement to be very significant. But over here, we have almost similar kind of applications, applicants, somewhere around 4,000 to 4,500 in both the years. Maybe plus minus 5% over here, here and there, but that is not going to change, make a difference. So in this case, we had a significant change, maybe around 30%. That's why we had to consider the the. decrease in cutoff because of that but uh, not not decrease increase in cutoff because of that but uh, over here we don't have that kind of problem uh, in this case so that's why uh, more or less they are likely to stay the same in case of uh, so basically it's not going to create any impact in the cutoff very small okay insignificant now this was about the competitive analysis now one additional practical point i would like to give over here so comparing 2021 and 2022 was a different case comparing 2020 and 2021 was a different case and this case the today's case 22 and 23 is similar to 2020 21 and 22 23 right why because uh, in this case we had no surprise transitioning from 21 to 22 we had actually no surprise at all from 2020 to 21 we had a big surprise in case of uh, uh, in case of lr in case of di in case of mathematics we had a big surprise so that why that's why panic was all around there so in that case i actually predicted cut off from 2020 to 21 i predicted cut off somewhere around 95 and it actually came out to be 90 so that was because of the panic and surprise which i didn't consider at that point of time but a uh, similar kind of problem over here uh, this time as well so according to simple competitive analysis basically one to one comparison you can say that cut off might be 80 but uh, if i consider the panic which was there back in 2020 to 21 similar kind of panic is there and i can safely say that five marks can drop over there okay so that's why i have given the range 75 to 80 it's not like i'm just uh, putting it 75 to 80 based on my opinion so based on this kind of experience i have uh, said 75 to 80 might be the actual range for cut off because of the panic right Now let us talk about difficulty benchmarking. So back in 2022, I made one video regarding the paper of 2021, how to set up a benchmark for yourself so that you can find out a target score. Okay. So in that case, what I concluded that 
basically 81 marks were quite easy to uh, grab in 21 paper in ideal conditions 81 marks were, marks were very easy but in 2023 we had just 60 marks of paper which was very easy to understand and very easy to solve in ideal conditions right so basically in ideal conditions if you are not doing any silly mistakes if not panicking you would have easily scored 60 marks right in ideal conditions okay i didn't do any calculation for 2022 so i, I don't have the data for that but i do have the data for 21 and 23 right now that's a drop of 21 marks but over here participation has increased so that's why we don't consider a drop of 21 marks in the cutoff from here to here so that's why uh, you can safely assume that it's anyways going to be less than 80 because the participation implication is not that big we saw that it's it's kind of you know five marks roughly five to six marks so that's why it's not going to be more than 80 it's probably less than 80 that's for sure we can conclude with this difficulty benchmarking right now i have talked about the number of applicants so there are more or less 4000 to 4500 in both the years so there is no implication of number of applicants from uh, 2021 uh, 2022 to 2023 okay now let's talk about the most interesting part that is the challenges right we are going to make certain challenges we we have seen that there are certain problems in mathematics answer key so that's why we are going to uh, have those kind of challenges so let's discuss the implication of all these questions so first we have the we have the log domain question and that is probably incorrect for almost everyone i i would say 80% have marked this incorrect according to the answer key right so basically 80% of the uh, people actually going to get the marks positive marks so we can have we can safely say that we are going to have a plus 3 implication over there because not plus 4 because we have 20% of the people who might have marked it incorrectly so that's why plus 3 implication for log domain question now the second question is differentiability x square sin x sin of 1 by x okay so this question has been done incorrectly by almost all of them so they might have found out that uh, to the two tricks they might have found out but the third trick was oscillating limit and most of them have done it incorrectly so it's going to have a negative implication of maybe minus 2 or minus 1 let's consider the worst case okay minus 2 because most of them have done it incorrectly now talking about the number plate similar kind of implications most of them have done this incorrectly and mark the incorrect answer answers and probably like we can take minus 1 over here because uh, it's not as difficult as 2 okay let's take minus 1 over here let's talk about area of inverse uh, so that is again incorrect by the pgdba team no options are actually matching and many people have actually marked root 2 minus 1 as the answer many people so again that's going to have a negative implication but since uh, many people actually left the question so i i would say that would have a minus 3 implication okay now if we talk about the progressions ratio of some question so in that case most of them have marked 111 by 148 something of that sort right no no one actually bothered to calculate the ratio was 2 to 3 or whatever right no one actually bothered very few people actually so again that might have a positive implication and let's say that is plus one and in case of chess board actually many people have left that problem as far as i know i have uh, con uh, as far as i have connected with the people and uh, there were two equal sides right somewhere saying that b is the correct option somewhere saying that b d is the correct option so probably it's not going to have any kind of implication according to my understanding probably zero or maybe plus one let's say plus one okay let's take the worst case let's say plus one so we can clearly see that there are more negatives as compared to positives so this is plus one plus one in plus three that is plus five we have minus two minus three minus one in the worst case right and that is minus six so let's say this is minus not this is not minus six this is minus five only my point is even after all the adjustments we can clearly see that some pluses some pluses are there some minuses are there and it's not going to have any kind of implications in the actual cutoff according to my understanding right based on the people i have connected and uh, they are not actually having any kind of change some are even getting negative marks actually most of them are actually getting the ne negative marks but let's consider the worst case that is uh, they are having zero marks so basically these kind of changes are not not going to make any kind of impact over there so we're not considering any changes in the actual cutoff based on these challenges right so it might be a myth that it might uh, look like that okay we have certain challenges and everyone is going to get marks but that's not the case over here because of the difficulty of the questions okay so the main conclusion is more or less the cutoff is likely to be in the range of 75 to 80 based on different points and we have also considered the implications of these challenges so that was the main issue that's why i actually suggested everyone to mark the actual mark answers and not the ones which you are considering after that you will be, you'll be getting after the challenges right so based on everything we are getting around 70 to 80 probably maybe 80 that might be the case but uh, i'm more biased towards this uh, range of 70 to 80 rather than just 80 to 85 
because of that surprise part which we actually saw in back in 2021 okay so yeah that's my conclusion for this time let's see how it goes so thanks for watching let's meet in the next video